We're so glad you're here with us this morning in the room and online. Now, are you ready for some fun stuff? Yes? This morning, it, you may or may not have noticed the, uh, the buses in the parking lot over there, and that is all the kids heading out for kids camp and youth camp. And we want to pray for them as they head out this morning. So would you come, would you join with me in doing that? So why don't we stand to our feet? And for those of you who've been on youth camp or kids camp, why don't you wave a hand at me if at some point in your life you've been to a, a kids camp, a youth camp, and you know what a pivotal and incredible time that is. So we're just going to pray for encounter with God for these kids this week, encounter with Jesus, and um, we are just going to pray for an incredible week for these kids. You ready? And I want to invite us, I'm going to pray, but I want you to be praying at the same time. Are you, are you ready to do that? Okay. Ready? Steady? Go. Father, we just thank you for all these kids and youth who are heading out this week. And we just ask in the name of Jesus for heaven to come down on that camp. Father, we ask that your uh, angels would go there ahead of them and they would just clear a space where there would be divine encounter, there would be healing, there would be um, evidence of the supernatural that our kids, our youth whom we love would meet you and be forever changed changed. Father, send your angels to guard them. And Lord, let fun and joy be at that camp this week in Jesus' name. We bless you kids to go out. Amen. Everybody say amen. Well, welcome to airport this morning. It is almost the end of summer. Can you believe that? We are ready to worship this morning. So I want to invite you to come on up um, into the, this front space. And our team is uh, ready to lead us into the presence of God. And we're just going to invite him to come and be the center, the center of our heart's gaze, the center of our thoughts, the center of our emotions. So why don't you just take a moment with me, Holy Spirit, we just invite you this morning, come and wash us off from this week, come and fix the focus and attention of our hearts on you. Because Jesus, we wanna worship you and love you and give you all the glory this morning, amen. Why don't you just begin to lift your voices to him this morning? Oh, we don't need a song to worship you. We don't need words to worship you. Come on, begin to lift your voices. Let's lift our voices to him. He's worth it. He's worth it. He's worth it today. He's worth it. better than there. Let's lift up our voices to Him today. Let's worship Him. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. We lift your name high. We lift your name high. Jesus. Jesus. We lift your name high. We lift your name high.
my shame You've drawn me with love and kindness Washed whiter than snow You have redeemed to make me whole The same grace you've shown Grace, you've shown me grace You've lifted my shame Draw me with love and kindness Washed whiter than snow You have redeemed to make me whole Jesus, you've won me You've broken every chain with love and your mercy You have triumphed over death
scripture in my mind that God calls things that are not as though they were he speaks into hopelessness he speaks into darkness he speaks in he spoke into the void and created light he spoke into nothing and made something so God I, we decree this morning that you are the resurrection and the life you are the way the truth and the life and you call things that are not as though they were you call things that were not as though they were. God, we thank you that your word has power to create life. Your word has power to create life. At your word, at your word, at your word. Your word. At your word. There is a resurrection life. There's a resurrection life. There's a resurrection life on the inside of us because Jesus is inside. And he's the way, the truth, and life. You are the way, the truth, and the life, Jesus. You are the way, the truth, and the life. And we can come to the Father through you, Jesus. There's something on that this morning. Let that revelation, God, let that revelation sink deep in our hearts that you are the way, the truth, and the life.
circumstances, God, you do with a song, with a song, with a song of deliverance, with a song of resurrection, with a song of life and a song of joy. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm no longer a slave to fear <laughs> because I am a child of God.
We're confident in your goodness. We're confident in your faithfulness. Confident in your goodness. Confident in your faithfulness. Confident in your goodness. We're confident in your faithfulness. Confident in your goodness. Confident in your faithfulness. We are confident in your Lift up our song. Lift up our song. Just bring to remembrance his goodness. Bring to remembrance your own testimony. Bring to remembrance how he rescued you. Bring to remembrance how he's been there for you. Bring to remembrance his time, the times of breakthrough. Bring to remembrance.
Holy Spirit, we just welcome you in this place to come and minister to our hearts right now. Whoa. I just, I just really sense his presence here right now. And he is here to speak to our hearts. For some of you, I just, I had this picture of an anchor and you were like, Lord, like this life is rough right now. I'm feeling pretty overwhelmed and I just saw him say, I am your anchor and I will not let you go. Yay. And so if that's you, I want to just encourage you, grab onto that word right now. If you're like, Jesus, come be my anchor. I'm feeling overwhelmed. I'm feeling out of my depth. I'm feeling 
I need the power of Christ in me, in my inner man, in my inner being to ride this out. And I'm here I'm saying, I am your anchor. I am your anchor. I am your safe place. And I'm not going to let you go. Whoa. Thank you, Jesus. I love as we've been singing about the resurrection life that is within him this morning. And that resurrection life is for you and for me. And we need that, not just in a one-off experience, but in a daily encounter. And I just sensed this morning that there were some of you here who feel like stuff's been coming to death in you like you've been dying inside, whether your hopes have died, your dreams have died, part of you has just been shut down because of life. Uh, and I just, I just sense this morning, he's saying, I am the resurrection and the life. And I, his power within us is bringing resurrection to those places that have, have, have felt dead inside. And so if that's you, I just want to encourage you to raise your hand and connect with Jesus this morning, who is our resurrection, His life, His power in, in us and you in, is, is going to bring to life. And so right now we just speak life, 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 life into your hearts this morning. And I call to those things that have, have been dead to live again because Jesus Christ, who is the resurrection and the life, is coming to resurrect you. He's coming to resurrect your hopes and dreams and His power in your inner man, in your inner being, is raising you to life. And we just lean into you this morning, Jesus. We step out of our independence into dependence with you. And you may want to just put your hand on your own heart and just prophesy, declare life into those things. Because you know what it is. You can be really specific. So right now, we just speak life, resurrection to our own hearts, to our own lives. There's someone out there who's had um, just... There's something, I think, for your, your kids, um, and you've, ha you've just be been believing and praying for them to come to know Jesus, and you've just felt like, I just feel like my hope has died, and I hear the Lord saying, I am breathing resurrection life into those dreams and those hopes today, because He is the one. It's not our power, but it's His power in us. Thank you, God. Let's just breathe in that life this morning. Jesus, thank you that you are the way, you are truth, and you are our life. And we just breathe your life in, into our inner being this morning. Wow. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You're bringing our spirits alive. Wow. Thank you, Lord. During the worship, I kept hearing these words. And um, I just shared them with someone. But the words were righteousness, justice, and truth. And when Sarah just said, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, I just felt that some of you this morning need to receive truth inside of you. And the deepest part of you, I kept hearing the word truth wins. Truth wins. And we can never lose when we receive the truth. And when we accept it in the depths of our spirit, that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And I just feel for some of us this morning, even as we sang that song, you're never, you're never going to let me down. I feel like some of you are feeling 
disappointment in your hearts today. And I want to encourage you that the Father never lets us down. So I wonder if we could put our hands on our hearts. Or actually, put it on your belly, that innermost part of the depths of your belly. And say, Father, today I choose to receive truth. I receive the truth that you are the way, the truth, and the life. And if you are one of those ones that, is, that have been feeling disappointed or feeling like things are not moving the way that you wanted them to move and then you're not seeing the answers you've been praying for, I just want you to take a moment. Just take one moment and say, God, I'm going to trust you one more time. I'm going to trust you one more time. Just take that moment. Just, just talk to the Holy Spirit. I'm going to choose to trust you one more time. just feel like something is going deep inside of your hearts yeah I just feel that there's some of you in this room today that don't even have a grid or a paradigm for what truth is you've been hearing truth in the world you've been hearing truth people say this is truth and that is truth but you don't really know the person who calls himself the way and the truth and the life. I just feel like the Holy Spirit is on you right now. Are you just feeling a little bit uncomfortable, but you're feeling something good as well? And your heart is just thumping. And you know that the Holy Spirit is speaking to you. I just want to invite you this morning to be introduced to that one who's called away the truth and the life. You see, the truth is that he came to the earth as a human being from the Father's presence in heaven, totally perfect, sinless, but he chose to come in the form of a human being so that he would experience what we experience, pain and suffering and disappointment and shame and he actually went through all of that when he went to the cross he suffered all of those things the Bible says that he was touched with the feelings of our infirmities so he knows what we experience but you see he chose to give up his life although he was perfect and he did nothing wrong he chose to go to the cross and he said, I'll go, Father. I'll go for them because I want them to be reconciled back to you. And the Father's heart is so tender towards us, his children. But he gave up that one son so that today we would know him and we'd be able to walk in that truth and that life and in the way of the Lord. And I just want to invite you to come up this morning so that we can pray with you. But before, before we do that, I wonder, church family, if we could all just pray a quick prayer together. Father, I acknowledge that I'm imperfect and I was born in sin. And Father, I ask you now to forgive me of my sin. I confess God and I repent for all that I've done wrong and I ask you to come now and forgive me wash me clean in that blood of Jesus the blood that he shed on the cross so that I would be forgiven and be reconciled back to you and so this morning I just want to say if you've never prayed a prayer like that before can I just see with a show of hands if you've never prayed something like that before? 
thank you. Thank you. I'm just going to ask you to do one brave thing right now. If you've never prayed that prayer before and it's the first time, and you know that the Holy Spirit is speaking to you, you know that this is the hour that the Father has ordained for you to come and hand over your life to the Lord. We just want to pray with you and bless you this morning. I saw a couple of hands. We're just going to invite you to please come. Let us pray with you. And you know what? If you're feeling a little bit shaky and you're not sure um, if you could walk up here, just ask somebody beside you, would you please go with me? I need to do this today. Thank you, Lord. Just come up and we'll pray with you. For those of you that I was talking about earlier that felt that there was disappointment and you just couldn't receive the truth, I just feel that you too just need to make just, just a recommitment to the Lord and say, Father, I know we pray that I'm going to trust you. You said to God, I'm going to trust you. Are you coming up? Are you coming? Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Come on. We've got some of our leaders here. Come on up. Just come on up. Can we just get uh, some of our leaders to just pray with these ones? Thank you, Lord. Bless them, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Bless them, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. For those of you that I was, I was talking about that felt disappointed, I just feel like today you need to make that commitment. I know you said to God, I'm going to trust you one more time. But I'm just going to, I'm just going to ask you to say, God, I'm just going to hand it all over. I've been carrying this for a while, but I just want to recommit my original commitment to you. I want to say, God, I'm going to hand it all over one more time. And I give you my heart again and again and again. I just feel like you need to take a moment and do that while we pray for these ones. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Why don't we just give God a hand uh, clap right now of his goodness and some thankfulness to him.